uh, we are going to see how to work with the robotdk software so you can uh, first uh, download this uh, robotdk software from this website robotdk.com and this you can download so from this you can download the software and by giving your details i have already downloaded it and i have uh, saved the I have installed it. I am opening that uh, software. So with this uh, this uh, tool, you can able to uh, simulate an industrial robot workspace environment, and uh, you can able to simulate it. So uh, by opening this, uh, uh, window will be opening like this, uh, empty window. So from this, uh, I am going to open uh, the uh, robot model from the open. Uh, uh, online library button by clicking this open online library button uh, you can get the models which are available online so this will open the online library by clicking this open uh, online library button so from this i am going to select a, a robot model of uh, cooker robot so you can uh, search for that so this is the robot library and under the brand you can search for the uh, robot brand you can search for coca so i'm going to download this coca uh, kr10 900 robot so download this so on clicking on this download it will get added to this workspace then uh, you can uh, reset this filter so click this reset filter and you can uh, i'm going to attach a gripper so you can search for tool in this type under this type you search for uh, tool so you will get a list of tools i'm going to use this uh, gripper robotic open this uh, this one i'm going to use it so i'm downloading it and it will get attached here then uh, after this, I am going to uh, uh, fix this table on our on a ta uh, fix this uh, robot on a table. So for that, I again I am going to uh, I am reset. I am going to reset this filter and I am going to search for uh, object. Okay, under the uh, type you search for object, you will get the uh, table. Okay, so download this table. So here you will get the table, and I am going to use this. Uh, I am going to do an experiment of uh, picking and placing of an object. So for the object, I am going to download this cube. So download this cube. So this will get uh, downloaded, and it is getting loaded here. Box is loaded here. Okay. So now what we are going to do is now we are going to uh, make the uh, reference frame for each and every point we are going to move. So I am going to add a reference frame. Okay, so first reference frame is for the base. So you can uh, rename this by uh, clicking uh, function F2. You can rename this, or by right clicking you can rename this. So I'm going to rename this as base. So this frame is base. Okay, so here we got a, a frame of base. So you can move the coordinate and you can uh, change that uh, position of uh, uh, the frame. So I'm going to add another frame. So I'm going to rename that frame as uh, uh, the position one. So from where I'm going to pick the uh, uh, pick the object is I'm giving the name as part one, okay. So our, uh, uh, this this part one is uh, the position from where I'm going to pick uh, uh, pick that particular uh, uh, object, okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this um, box under this uh, part one. That is the position one on uh, from where I'm going to pick this. Uh, uh, object so i move I, you can click this you can click and drag this and put it on under the part one so this box is under the part one uh, so i'm adding this box under this uh, reference frame okay part one so this is the position from where i'm going to pick uh, this box and i'm going to make this table as a base so you can click this table and change support so right click that table and you can uh, find this change support button and you uh, select this base okay so now base is, uh, base frame is added to the table okay now uh, now what uh, what you can do is uh, you can uh, 
uh, you are going to, we can uh, we can change the x and y coordinates of the frames and all so that we are going to do it okay now uh, uh, you double click this table so you will get this uh, the position or x y coordinate of the position you can reset this one so by clicking this button this uh, the last button here you have this last button so by clicking this you get uh, the reset you reset this one also the base double click the base so here you are getting this base okay so see here the name is base so here you again reset it and double click the block box and then you have this box here okay reset this one and the part one this reference frame also you can reset okay in, uh, you can reset everything <laughs> now one by one you can uh, make the coordinates so first uh, i'm going to move this uh, cooker robot towards this end of the table so that they can pick and place uh, an object within this table so uh, double click this kuka here this this but this frame of this kuka you double click this one so this frame uh, position will be opening so here i'm going to give this uh, x coordinate as minus 500 so minus 500 so it is moved towards one of the end okay now uh, you can close this one and you you uh, you double click this uh, part one uh, the reference frame so double click this one will open and uh, here i'm going to uh, make this part one at this position okay so from here i'm going to pick it and i'm going to place it here so i am going to move this uh, part one towards this one this in this end so i'm giving the position x y coordinate so x is zero y is uh, uh, minus 300 if you will move in y direction and uh, here you can give okay. so you can see this part is moved towards this end so here this is the first position from where we are going to pick this object okay now what you can do is uh, now you click on this kuka robot model right click this one and uh, you uncheck this one visible robot flange okay so you click on that then uh, uh, again uh, you, you can add another reference frame so i'm going to add another reference frame so add a reference frame you can rename this one by giving function f2 and i'm going to re rename this as the uh, position 2 or uh, the, the part 2 okay so this is where at this at this part 2 only i'm going to place that uh, box which i have picked it so from here i'm going to pick and i'm going to place at some other position uh, to place it okay so you can uh, double click this part 2 and it will open like this so here i can give this uh, uh, x y is opponents like this so y i am going to give as uh, 300 plus 300 and z i am going to give as 50 so this is the uh, this is the part 2 frame so uh, in this frame only i am go i'm going to place this object okay so this i have done so next uh, i can uh, close this one and uh, Okay. So on the next, you double click this uh, model, Kuka model. So here you have this uh, Kuka model. So double click this one. So here this parameters will be opening. So here you have this joint axis, uh, the angle and all. Okay, I'm going to uh, change this one to have an initial home position. I'm going to give this value as zero minus ninety ninety. And this one I'm going to give as a zero. Then I'm going to give this one as ninety. Okay. So this is going to be your uh, home position. Okay. And then uh, what you can do is uh, you can uh, uh, make this base frame as the active frame. So I'm right uh, clicking this base and I'm, I'm making the right click of this one and uh, make this as active frame. Sorry, this is not active now. Now click again. It will become the active frame was already in active frame so make this as active frame okay. now we can add a target okay so i'm going to add a target here this uh, here you have a button so i'm going to add this one this is the target and i'm going to rename this as uh, home position home position so here we have given the uh, the home position details and all for the robot model so this uh, this uh, home position as the target so this position will be your home position so i'm making a target here so 
so initially your uh, your robot should be in your in your home position that is the first target okay. now you can click this uh, part one and uh, you can make this frame as an active frame so i'm clicking on the active frame and uh, you can click on this box and uh, right click this one now next target is you, you want to hold this object so i'm clicking on this uh, right clicking on this uh, box and i'm going to change the support uh, sorry get get with the robot so get with the robot i'm clicking on that and i'm going to click on this uh, uh, kr 10 so i'm going to click this it is going to hold this object okay so at this point you can add on, on target so your target is created at this point of, of picking that uh, object so i'm going to rename this target as uh, p2 because i'm going to make another target p1 so uh, p1 i'm going to make this uh, robot uh, at, at some position above this uh, object so the object man at some position uh, in the robot vandittu then it is going to pick it so you can make uh, the target so I'm, so for that i'm I am going to uh, make this uh, position as uh, 110, 110, okay. So, so when you make this as 110, it is at some position above this one. So here you can add another target, okay. I am going to make this, the name of this the target as uh, P1, Okay, I'm, I'm going to uh, keep this uh, P1 above, above this uh, P2. But, uh, now I'm going to create one program. So on clicking that program, uh, uh, the robot should uh, be, uh, all those, all the objects should be in their original home position. Okay. So, so first initially I'm clicking this base and I'm making this as active uh, reference frame and I'm double clicking this uh, home position. Now you close this and you add the program. Okay, so by clicking this uh, add program, here you have the Nika. So this program will be added here. So I'm renaming this as a restore program. So restore. So on the restoring, um, it should come to this uh, general position. All the objects should be in original position. So uh, I'm right clicking this restore, add instruction. Then you have uh, the simulation event instruction. Okay. Then here you can uh, uh, select uh, the action. You can select as uh, set object position relative and uh, select any one and uh, you control A, it will select everything and uh, click OK. So now Suppose, for example, I'm moving this object like this, and I'm clicking, I'm, I'm running this restore program. It will go towards original, original uh, place. Okay. So for that only we have this restore program. Now I'm going to create another program for picking the object. So add uh, the program and uh, rename this one as uh, uh, pick program picking enter so for this uh, i'm going to uh, this position p1 position uh, and for this you click this uh, move move j uh, this joint movement program so add this one okay then i'm going to uh, uh, position 2 was picking this object for this uh, i'm giving the linear motion so the second one click this one and uh, Again, I need to uh, I need to pick this one, and I need to go at some position above this one. So again, I'm going to uh, position one. Okay. So uh, for this also, give linear movement. Okay. Now uh, on coming to position two, it should add, it should uh, pick this, it should hold this, it should grip this object. For that, I'm going to uh, give an instruction, add instruction, uh, simulation event, and attach object. It is the attach object instruction. Click OK. Now it will attach it. So for example, it is coming to this position, then to this position, then it is attaching, then uh, next is it is picking up uh, to some extent. Okay. So this is this picking program. 
so like this like this we have to uh, make a program for placing and then we can make on uh, main program integrating both the speaking